Hello, Libra viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. Tower popped right out. <laughs> Knight of Swords, Six of Cups. I do want to say if this reading resonates with you, I am doing private readings. So just email me at dragonenchantress at awol.com. That email is right below in the description box. I also appreciate any engagement. Um, as you guys know, I've been off YouTube for a while and I'm just getting back on. So I really need to get back in the algorithm, get YouTube to promote my videos again. So I really appreciate you guys just liking, sharing, uh, commenting, even just leaving a, just commenting a heart reaction, just that kind of engagement just, you know, gets me back in the algorithm. So I really appreciate that. And please subscribe if it resonates. Okay, we've got the Tower, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Moon. So I feel like this is somebody, somebody who, there was some kind of explosion here with the Tower. Now this could be an argument that you guys got into. It could also just be losing you. I feel like this might be somebody that just never really thought that you would actually leave. They didn't actually think that it would come to an end. Like there might have been drama or distance between you two, but they thought that you would always be there. Because the energy I'm getting from this is that somebody with the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords is about, you know, loyalty, honor, integrity, uh, making, making promises, making a commitment to change, making a commitment to do better. Like if you see this energy... You know, you see this person, it's like he's he or she is making a vow. They're making a commitment to be a better person, to, you know, do right. And I feel like this person is making this commitment, making these promises because of this tower, because of this sudden change. Um, this could either be, like I said, an argument or just losing you. They never really thought they, lose, they would lose you. I feel like it could also be an energy shift. Where for some of them, maybe maybe you were in the same energy for a while and maybe you switched it up on this person. Like, because, you know, when you're when you, with your soulmates, you know, twin flames, like those kind of connections, you guys can still feel each other's energy even when you're not around each other. So for some of you, this could be a situation where they, even if you guys weren't talking, even if they didn't know what was going on in your life, they still felt like they had you because they could feel you thinking about them all the time. They could feel you missing them. They could feel you longing for them. And I think some of you just got to a point where you're like, you know, enough is enough. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to open myself up to new love. I'm really just exhausted with this situation. I'm tired of waiting for this person to get it together. I don't want to keep my life on hold anymore. So it was like there was this drastic change. Basically, the tables have turned is the energy I'm getting. Whatever this tower moment was, though, and for some, I also feel like this could be something you said. There might be something that you said to them that's really sticking out in their mind right now. Like There might have been something specific that they just can't forget about. It's like they're replaying conversations that you guys have had in their mind right now. But whatever it was... This made this person want to commit, you know, this made this person, it, it shifted things. It shifted the energy in a really good way. And I feel like this person is nostalgic now with the six of cups. It's like, they're really missing you. They're missing, they took you for granted basically. And now that the energy has shifted, they're seeing what a mistake that was. We've got the moon here too. What does the moon want to say? Justice. Okay. Okay. And these are major transformations, too, because when you get major arcana cards like the tower, the moon, the justice card, when you get that many major arcana cards, that's like major, major life lessons, major transformation. You know, the minor arcana like the six of cups, that's just more day to day energy. It's just, you know, the in between. But but the major arcana, seeing this many major arcana cards, this is like a major energy shift. You're in the you're in the middle of. um. This is going to mark a before and after period of your life, basically. Got another major arcana card, the Hermit Reversed. Let's see here. King of Swords. Nine of Wands.
I paused the video for a minute to go back and look and see what the, the reading was a couple weeks ago when I posted for Libra. And the, the reading was basically that you have multiple potential life partners, but your spirit guides want you to make this decision for yourself. Now, this is a major life lesson for you where you're basically being asked to not be too impressionable. Your spirit guides are basing, basically saying the world is your oyster, but you have to choose what you want. There, There is no wrong answer. Because for this energy group, it seems like people are, are kind of like what I was picking up in that last reading for Libra was basically you guys kind of going in circles and, you know, asking your spirit guides to make these decisions for you. And, you know, just being kind of confused, kind of in this fog a little bit, not knowing where to go, not knowing what to do. And, the, and your spirit guides are basically saying, we don't want to make these decisions for you. We'll, we'll support you. We'll, we'll guide you to an extent, but we want you to decide what you want your life to be. There is no wrong answer. You know, we want you to decide. You have multiple potential life partners. So they're saying it is up to you whether you go back to the past person or you manifest somebody new. You know, with career, it's like, what do you, what do you want? What resonates with you? Like they want you to stand in your power because I feel like for this energy group, and I don't want to reiterate the last last reading too much. I mean, this is like, I want to get into a new reading. But, you know, if this is your story, I would go back and watch the old Libra reading that I did a couple weeks ago. But, you know, base, basically they want you to take your power back. They You've given too much of your power to, to other people, to your spirit guides, to things outside of yourself. And they want you to take that power back and decide for yourself what you want. They want you to trust. They want you to develop and trust your intuition. They want you to make these decisions, decisions for yourself. They, um, you know what I mean? Like they, do, they want you to take that power back. They want you to be... They, they, they want you to, to just really find yourself again. But I feel like you have justice when you do that, when you start developing and using your intuition. I feel like the, the, what, the energy I'm getting, though, is a specific past person that's wanting to come back around, though. You do have multiple partners, but life partners, multiple potential life partners. You know, there's, there's you have choices here for sure. But I feel like you're coming out of the hermit energy. Like you have justice on your side. You're you're being supported by the universe. So it's basically, you know, you've been trying to listen to your spirit guides and it's the other way around. They're trying to listen to you. They're it's like you're waiting for your spirit guides to make the first move and to to bring you here or bring you there. And your spirit guides are waiting for you to step out of your comfort zone and do those things yourself. You know what I mean? It's like I feel like you've been seeking answers and you know, you're asking your spirit guides who's right for me or what job is right for me or what's the, what, what this, what that. When you sit down and you say, hey, I want a person that's like this or I want a career that's like this. Like when you really get serious and do the soul searching and let your spirit guides know exactly what you want, they're going they're going to start guiding you to those things. But they're they want you in a leadership position. You feel me like they don't they don't want to be in the leadership role. They want you in a leadership role. They want you taking control over your life. Um, anyway, but we got into that in the last reading. So let me get into the, the new energy. So I feel like you're coming out of hermit energy. I feel like you have justice on your side. You are starting to finally, you know, use and develop your intuition. And with the king of swords and the nine of wands, I feel like this person, I feel like this is somebody who really messed up with you. And I feel like they're really nostalgic now because it's like the tables have turned, you know, the energy has shifted and this could be someone I mean I think you're doing it now where you are starting to you know take control of your life and you're not as impressionable and I think that's part of the energy shift that this person is uh, feeling they're feeling that energetic difference where you're not as open to suggestion you're you know what I mean you're you're making those decisions for yourself they they can't you know, you're not open to any mind games. You're smarter than that. You're protecting yourself. You're, this could be, I'm almost getting that. And like, don't shoot the messenger here. This is just the energy I'm getting. And this person might not have gaslit you, but I, I do feel like if it wasn't this person, I do feel like there was someone in your past, past that gaslit you a lot. And I feel like that's kind of why you're having such a hard time trusting yourself 
because of that gaslighting. Because the energy I'm picking up from, from this energy group, it's like you guys really, I mean, you guys are really impressionable. Like you guys really, um, and it happens, you know, I'm not talking down on anyone, but I'm just saying it's something that should be addressed. It's one of those things where it's like you really doubt yourself. You really, you're, you're really afraid to trust yourself. You're really afraid to trust your intuition. Um, you're really afraid of being wrong. And so for a lot of you, I'm guessing, you know, it could be past life trauma, but for a lot of you, I'm guessing it, it almost feels like the result of trauma from gaslighting. It almost feels like the, like what would happen if someone like gaslit you over time. It's like they mess with your mind to the point where you don't, you don't trust your perception of the world. You don't trust your judgment anymore. You don't, you don't know how to develop or use your intuition because you, you, you know, you, you know what I mean? Like you're just so convinced that you're wrong. Like you just, so you end up relying on other people and that's, that's how they manipulate you. They, they mess up with, they mess up with your perception of the world and of yourself. And so for some of you, I feel like this, yeah, I feel like some of you need to heal from the results of being gaslit by somebody and you have to take that power back now and, and learn to develop and trust your intuition again. But anyway, you know what it is, though. If it's not gaslighting, I mean, it could be something else. But I mean, if you do the soul searching, like you'll, if you really, you know, get serious about it, maybe do some journaling, do some shadow work, I think you'll be able to pinpoint what it is that makes you afraid to, you know, afraid to be wrong, afraid to trust yourself, afraid to, you know, put yourself out there and, and make those decisions. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm just getting that sense that it's like you have so much potential around you. you have so many different options but it's like you're waiting for someone or something else to make those decisions when you know anyway let me move on from that energy um but yeah whoever this person is this uh this, what was this this knight of swords i feel like they're very nostalgic i feel like they know that if they come to you because you know, you're getting out of your comfort zone, you're getting out of the hermit energy, and they can feel that. And with the king of swords and the nine of wands here, I feel like they also know that if they come to you in the king of swords energy, you're not going to be open to it again. It's going to be a battle. It's, it's going to be if they try to present themselves like this, it's going to you guys are just going to clash. The energies are going to clash because you're in your power now. You're not, you're not going back to that again. But I mean, I would not even give this a chance if this, if the, if this person is the one that gaslit you, then I would not even give this a chance again. So this could just be a warning for some of you that like there is somebody that, you know, was mentally manipulating you and they feel that you're not under their control anymore. And now they're, they're wanting to sneak their way back in, but let's get some more cards to see. The Hanged Man, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, it, it does feel like that, unfortunately. And it's going to be different for everybody. I mean, for a few of you, this person is genuine and can be trusted. But what the cards are telling me here is like the Hanged Man to me is, is you know, new perspective, opening your mind up. So it's like things are changing for you. You're going down your path, you know, you're going down a new path. You're stepping out of your comfort zone. You're finding yourself. You're healing from this, you know, mental abuse or gaslighting or whatever it was. And it's like this person wants to come back around and like be dishonest. But you have to have that strength to recognize that. It feels like a power struggle, honestly, with the Emperor, the Seven of Cups. Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like most of you, you don't want the, um, sorry, I got my hair right there. <laughs> um, you don't want this King of Swords. You know what I mean? I almost feel like this person is going to, I feel like this person from your past is almost a King of Swords or a Queen of Swords, but they know if they come to you in that energy, you're not going to tolerate it again. So I almost feel like they're going to come back pretending like they're in a different energy. Does that make sense? Where it's like somebody who does want the control over you, they do want to gaslight you, they do want to, you know, it, it's just a power struggle. It's it's kind of very karmic with this person. It's it's like, 
it, it seems like, you know, you like one person's chasing, one person's pulling away. It just, it feels like it's about control. I, feel, I mean, I think this person might love you in their own way. I'm not saying that they don't. But it just, more than anything, it feels like they feel the energetic shift. They feel you stepping into your power. They feel you focusing on other things. They feel they might have tried to manipulate you or, you know, try to get a reaction and it's not working on you anymore. It's just, it's not resonating with you anymore. If it wasn't verbal, it might, you know, just again be through energy, but it, it's like either way they can, they can feel that change. And so they want to try to come back in to get that, it, to get that power back, to get that control back. And they know you might've put them in their place too. There might've been something that was said or done. Like if it wasn't energetic, if it's not just them feeling your energy, it might've actually been like a conversation you had where you're like, maybe you gave them an ultimatum or you just said, Hey, like you know, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm, I know that this doesn't sit right with me, even if I can't put my finger on it. Cause people that are mentally manipulative, they'll do it in subtle ways. They'll do it in a way where if you like lash out, they make you look like the dramatic one. They make you look like like you're just crazy, like you're just unreasonable, when really it's these little things that they've been doing over time that have been kind of triggering you. So it's one of those situations where I feel like they're, yeah, like like you already know that they're a king or queen of swords. You already know that they're in this energy. And in this context, I feel like the king of swords is a, is a negative thing. It's not always negative. It's just I channel the energy, so I kind of look at the entire picture here. But yeah, I feel I feel like I feel like they're gonna present themselves in a softer energy. They're gonna come back in making promises, trying to win you back over, trying to show you another side of themselves. But then it's like when they have you again, then it goes back to being that power struggle. It's like they don't like that you've taken your energy back. But with the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Swords, I feel like you're going to choose to end this. I don't think you're going to want this. And then with the ten, Two of Cups and the King of Cups, I feel like you have new love coming in shortly after. I feel like this was like a karmic cycle with this person. Um, and I mean, everyone has their insecurities and abandonment issues. So like this King of Swords wouldn't be somebody who's like a good person who just, you know, has has a few abandonment issues or has... Um, some trauma or trust issues like this would be somebody who is like physically or mentally abusive somebody who um somebody who doesn't know how to love or doesn't want to love somebody that cares about like money and control and appearances more than they care about you know emotions somebody who didn't consider your feelings like this wouldn't be something that you would resonate with or want like this i'm not getting like a twin flame energy or like even a higher level soulmate this whoever this king of swords is they feel very karmic to me um but yeah i feel like i feel like you're gonna make that choice to just end it and and when you do when you wrap that cycle up you have love coming in quickly with the king of cups and like a genuine king of cups too somebody who is mature and emotionally available and on your level, you know, I think you're ending the cycle with these kind of people. Eight of Wands, Temperance. The world, yeah, you're ending a karmic cycle, basically. I feel like you're moving past, like you're kind of at like a stalemate with this person, and you're, but you're moving forward quickly. Like you're recognizing the energy, but instead of letting it keep you trapped, it's going to, this time around, it's going to make you want to close the cycle out, you know? Whereas before, I feel like you would just get sucked into the drama with this person. You guys would just repeat the same old patterns. This time you're going to see that pattern and you're going to be like, no, I don't want to be stuck in that energy again. You're going to move forward quickly. And I think you're going to have a balance. I think that you're, you're, you've learned a major lesson. You've wrapped up a major karmic cycle. And so with the temperance energy, it's like you're going to have, um, you, you're just going to be able to find that balance in relationships where you're, you're not going to give so much of yourself to one-sided connections. You know, the world is all about wrapping up a cycle too. Yeah, the devil. 
yeah, you're letting that burn and go. It's just kind of reiterating what, what I've what I've been channeling is is you know the devil, ten of wands. You're letting that energy go. You're letting that pattern go. You're letting that person go. It might be like a long series of, of people that were like that person, like the same pattern with abusive people. Whatever it is, it's like you don't resonate with it anymore. You're letting you're, you know, you're leaving that behind. You're realizing what a burden that was. Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. And I feel like you're studying. I feel like that this goes hand in hand with the the with the, the um temperance energy where it's like you're finding that balance and you're you're studying. You're not diving headfirst into any connections. You know, you're you're getting out of the Eight of Swords energy. Yeah, you're taking it slower with people. You're finding more of that balance. You're you're looking for the red flags, but you're also looking for the green flags as well. You know, like you're not just dismissing people right away, but you're not giving everybody the benefit of the doubt right away either. You're you're letting people. You're having you you have a new perspective when it comes to relationships. You're. You're letting people show you who they are and you're not trying to, you know, paint their colors differently. You're just letting them be whoever they are and letting it flow naturally. And I think, you know, because the Knight of Pentacles is very, it's a very slow moving night because the Knights are about action and Pentacles is about, you know, physical world action, you know, abundance, material world things. And the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving night, but he, but when he or she gets to their destination, there it's it's solid it's grounded they've built that foundation especially with the eight of pentacles like studying learning commitment to growth you know so even though it, it's a process when you get to that ten of cups you're gonna know it's solid because it's like this time around you're maybe starting off with as friends with people you're taking it very slowly you're easing into it you're you know, again, not painting anyone's colors to be any different than what they are. If you see red flags, you're backing away. You're just living in the moment more. And that balanced, grounded energy is what's going to lead you to this this king, of, king or queen of cups, this true love, ten of cups. You know, you have a really good, you from the situation that you just went through, you have a really good logic, you know, a, a balance of logic and emotion. So anyway, if this resonates, please uh like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.